guys and welcome back to Rune Factory Frontier. Today we are on day 8 of spring of the first year. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to water some crops. Pretty flippant exciting, ain't it? I thought so too. I thought I'd make you guys watch me just mow away at these things. Let's see here. If I can remember how to play this. I haven't recorded this in such a long time because of Christmas and New Year's that I think I've forgotten how to play it. But I do know what we're going to actually do today. We're going to meet, hopefully, two new people here who are going to move into the village. And I'm very excited because one of them is one of our bachelorettes, even though we're going to go with Selfie. Uh, this other bachelorette, she is very pretty and her personality is just grand. If we meet her, though. I, I can't promise because... Let's just say it's supposed to happen, but knowing my luck, we're going to be running around all day doing absolutely nothing. So there's Annette. Hello, Annette. Thank you for delivering our mail faithfully every day, even though the monsters like to pester you. Um, so here we are. We're just going to quickly water the crops. Um, quickly. Very, very quickly. And then we're going to see if we can meet these beloved people. Last episode, we met Cannon. Cannon is the little uh, little old man. He's a pester. Very, very annoying, but he's a sweet guy. Um, he actually, later on in the game, he'll start getting little quests for us where we'll have to find stuff. And then he'll give us information on like the storyline and um, information on other things. So he'll be a good help a little bit later on when we have to start finding him stuff. He actually gives us good items. Like, I think he gives us like a fire rod or something, which is pretty neat. Um, I think that's it for the watering. I'm so happy I was finally able to upgrade my watering can. Uh, we were able to uh, buy that from them. So we're gonna go off and we're gonna see if they are available today. We're gonna go see about that. And we also have to go see Selfie and just say hello. We don't have any items for her yet. I have yet to look up what she likes. I'm sure s sandwiches are something she likes, but still. Oh look, it looks like we are open. The clock tower is open. Let's see where Cannon is. We gotta talk to him. Let's see how he's doing today. He just came to the village. Let's see how his studies are going. Cannon, are you home? Yes, but you are asleep, apparently, or doing weird old man things. We could not be sure, so why don't we go visit Selfie first? Um, I don't think we'll get to the green ruins yet. Mostly because my game lags like crazy and I need to figure out a way to get the lag to go away before I can start recording in that dungeon. Uh, let's see, is she open? Is she awake? Selfie, we're coming to see you. Make sure you're still alive. Good morning. You seem so lively so early. Ah, yes. Surrounded by books. This is the life. You really like your books. I don't just like them. Books are my life. Books are a part of me. I love books. <laughs> All right, Selfie, you crazy girl. Apparently she loves books, but I couldn't be positive with this mess everywhere. My goodness, I almost don't want to marry her. She's going to mess up my house and I'm going to have to be the woman and clean it up. Wouldn't that be terrible? Yes, indeed. So why don't we tend to our fields while we wait for Cannon to, quote, wake up. Even though we clearly saw him in there reading because we can see through the walls. Cannon, you liar. Just let us in on the hairs of our chitty chin chin. <laughs> But like I was saying, the Green Ruins, we're not going to be able to go in there yet because of the major lag it brings onto the game. Um, so I've been, I, am, I have been looking it up, but I haven't found a solution yet to be to get that fixed. Um, and if I can't, then I guess we'll all just have to deal with me taking two steps every two minutes. Won't that be grand? I think so too. That would be very fun to watch, wouldn't it? Oh, and we do have mail, so why don't we go check our lovely mail and see who sent us pretty stuff. I think we also have requests. Don't we need to give grass to somebody or turnips? Greetings. Hello. I just wanted to greet everyone and also let you know that I have min moved into the ruined archives. I found, I've, I've found books that were buried under other books, so come by to read them. Selfie. Oh, thank you, Selfie. 
I hear you found the green ruins. I hear you have entered the green ruins. That place once was a NORAD research facility. Studying how to utilize runes more effectively by using runestones. It may be a good idea to try taking some runestones down there with you. Alright, so some good advice from both Kano and from Selfie about coming to read books. So now that we've tended to our fields and left a bunch of weeds everywhere because we're awesome like that, we are going to go back and see if they're open. He probably doesn't wake up till like 10 or 11, but it doesn't hurt to try, right? I mean, we can run back and forth. Oh, can we talk to this big thing? Maybe it's the clock parts. I've never seen it actually working. Well, that's just because you've lived here only eight days, young Sparky. But you'll, you'll learn that soon enough. Alright, Cannon, here we go. Hi, Cannon. Did you want something? Good morning. Um, who are you again? Sparky. Right. Are you doing this on purpose? Ho ho ho. Maybe I was wrong. Do you want something? I have a question? I like people who want to learn, so what do you want to know? Let's learn about the spirits. In short, spirits are things that form the world. They exist anywhere in the world and give energy to the earth, plants, and animals. Of course, humans fill them too. That's why a land with lots of spirits is fertile and has kind people. With no spirits, there is an opposite effect. When spirits gather, they either become rune crystals or runies. That's nice, Canon. Can we please... This is a great place runies grow only in a very specific environment. It is rare to find a place that can grow runies at such a stable rate. I can not wait to research this. By the way, be sure to tell me if you find something. My specialty is ancient magic, so I can decipher ancient text. Thank you, Kana, again, for telling us that information. This is a great place. Okay. Alright, Kana, thank you. We're gonna we're gonna go now. Um, thanks again. Okay. I was hoping for maybe a different reaction from him, but I guess that's a no-go. Okay, well, I guess I lied to you guys. Um, that's a little weird. We were supposed to be getting uh, two new people here in our area, but maybe, I, maybe I'm doing something wrong, I guess. But what we're going to do then um, is we're going to go up here. a.m. and 11. See, he's supposed to talk to us. That's weird. Oh, I know why. Okay, we're gonna go back down there. We're gonna just wait for- I know, guys. I know what I'm doing. I swear. I'm gonna wait here until it's 10 o'clock. We're gonna run around in circles. Look at all these runies, by the way. These are gonna be- these are hard to manage. In my other game, they're completely dead. I'm trying so hard to get them back up, but- we're going to learn how to do that. Um, thankfully, one of my lovely subscribers gave me an app that can help us calculate all this stuff. So, Cannon, would you get your butt down here? We just need to meet two new people. That's all we need. Anyway, it's a calculator that will uh, calculate, you know, how you can keep those runies intact. So, Who are you again? Sparky, right. Why are you doing this on purpose? Ooh. Maybe it had to be on the day he came, because apparently... I'm not strange, Mr. Old Man. You're not giving me what I want. Okay. Okay, this is a lost cause. I'm just gonna go up to Well Island. What do you, What? Oh, I don't want to spoil it. I guess I won't tell you guys. It'll, it'll happen one day. One day. Okay. Alright, up to Well Island. Anyway, about the rubies. They're a pain. There's four of them, and they eat each other. Pretty much it. <laughs> uh, let's pull out- we don't have a sword. Of course we have a sword, silly me. Ooh, we can upgrade this soon once we get the material. Wouldn't that be exciting? But what we actually need to do also is we're going to get a little bit further in the cave, see how far we can make it, because we need to get somewhere by the end- not the end- uh, at six o'clock. What we need to do is go to the fin on Whale Island by 6 o'clock and a cutscene will appear because so far so good you know we've been going through the story we cut Miss Long so we can go into the Green Island or the 
green ruins. And so what we're gonna do... Is see if we can get a cutscene. And if not, then this episode was a complete loss. But hey, it doesn't hurt, right? Get some experience, maybe. I just want to see how far we can make it. Because we're going to have to get there eventually. To the fin of this island. So let's see how far we can make it without dying. I'm not going to battle every monster. But of course, we do need to gain some love to get some experience. Like that, for instance. Yay! And what do we get? A fin stick. So I hope everybody off topic. Had a good new year. Uh, my new year was okay. I just kind of relaxed and was glad I wasn't stuck working. Uh, does anybody have any new year resolutions? Mine is just to have an awesome year. You know, we only live so much. Why not? Why, why stress about a new year's resolution and about changing yourself when the things in your life right now are already working as they're planning to work? If that makes sense. Anyway, this is the fin of Well Island. Um, I just wanted to see if we were strong enough to at least be around here. Because these monsters are a little bit stronger than the other ones. See, we can barely touch this little thing. And I'm sure when it hits us, it's going to like almost kill us. Yeah, see, look at that. I didn't think we would be strong enough, but I thought it would be worth a shot. Plus, there's some chests out here we can get. Uh, but like I was saying, it's like, why stress about a whole new year ah. when last year obviously worked just fine. I mean, if you want to lose weight, if you want to exercise, if you want, you know, whatever you want to do, then go for it. It's good to have a goal. But why set it for the whole new year when you could have set it, like, in February of last year or in March of last year when you were thinking about stopping or quit smoking or quit drinking or whatever. I don't know. I'm not really much of a New Year's planner person. I love New Year's. Don't get me wrong. I love the holidays. They're great family fun time. Drink a lot and stuff. But just that whole resolution stuff. It's like if you think of something, then plan it while you're there. Don't wait until the New Year. To... But obviously, that means you're not dedicated. Oh, look a building, guys. Please stop by in the evening for business. Ooh, kind of business. Anyway, so when we do get our barn up and running, I'm so excited because we can get, we can catch these sheep and these cows, and then there's these cool wolves up here. Oh, these wolves are awesome. They're purple. Which is my favorite color. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Totally gonna kill us in one shot, but they're awesome. Thankfully, we can run around with our heads cut off and wait for six o'clock. So I think that's just going to be the majority of the episode. There's not much else to do. I was hoping we'd get to meet two new people today, but for some reason it didn't want to work for me. And I'm not sure why. I'm just following what I did before in my other game, but I guess maybe we have to wait another day. But yeah, so we're going to wait for 6 o'clock. Make sure to comment down below what's your New Year's resolution or if you have anything planned, you know, for the 2014 you want to go visit a different country, whatever it is, let me know. It's it's cool to hear what people plan, what people want to work on, and oh no, I died! No! Well, that sucks. Did you work until you collapsed again? Be sure to go home and rest before you collapse. Great. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I was running around trying to kill this sheep while I was waiting for 6 o'clock to come. And I went and killed myself. So we're going to have to buy some cold medicine. May I help you? Heal up, go water our crops again, and try this all again. Let's see. Uh, I'm not going to really end the episode here. We'll just make this maybe a little long episode. It can be covered up with two days, right? It won't hurt nobody. Welcome. Do you what have cold medicine? Oh, no. She does. I, she will heal me for like 10 bucks, later. I think. Because these guys... Okay, May okay, so that you? brings up a story. This is totally off topic. Let's see. Oh my! Let me take a look at you. Take a deep breath. Now exhale. I'm sick. It's alright. I'll treat you right away. This may sting a little. There. All better. Please be more careful. 
100 the gold. Is, you're you. supposed to be a, a be careful, person so of you. God and you're charging me money. Anyway, there. So I have <laughs> I have a story. Um, while we're waiting for me to water my crops. Okay, so I work at Dish, so I talk on the phones all day with people calling in about their bills and technical support. 11 bucks an hour, it's really kind of nice, but I hate the job. Anyway, so I had this person a couple days ago call. He, he was maybe, it sounded like he was in his late 30s. But, so, he goes on the phone and, you know, we're trying to just get on this website. Something really simple, but, anyway. We're talking, and he's, he was... Just telling me his life story because these people think I want another life stories, which some of them are really nice to hear. But what he was telling me is, first off, um, he married this woman, okay, and she it ended up getting pregnant. They had a kid, and right as she had the baby, she up and left um, the guy I was talking to for his best friend, and then they moved to Texas. So that's the start of his little exciting adventure in life um after that his son who, who grew up to be about seven years old had died from like a brain lapse or something like that i believe it was so his son goes and dies at seven years old he calls the mother up of this son and says hey you know your son died and the mother says i don't care i don't want nothing to do with you or him so yeah how sad is that anyway it doesn't stop there then this poor guy ends up um he has cancer now. So, you know, he goes to, like, I think it was the Church of Christ or something like that. Church of Jesus Christ. I don't know which one that is. Maybe Christian. And, um, so, because he got cancer and his son died, he didn't have enough money to donate to this church. Because he used to donate $400 a month. He would give $100 every month to this church. And so, since he couldn't, the church said... Um, he couldn't go there anymore. They weren't going to help him, and they didn't want him in the church. So he explained to them, hey, you know, I'm trying everything. And he even, actually, he got robbed, and they broke his window. And from what it sounded like was he was in an apartment complex. So you would think that the apartment complex would fix that for him, but now he has just tape and, and a garbage bag over there, and it flies off. And since he has cancer, you know, he has to get treatment, and I'm sure he's weak and stuff. Anyway, so this church kicks him out because he can't pay the $400 he was paying before to go to church. Now, personally, I thought churches were for, you know, you believe in God, you believe in, you know, all these beliefs and everything. I'm not saying that's wrong, nothing like that. It was just this church itself had kicked this poor guy out whose wife left him for his best friend. His son died at seven years old and he ended up getting cancer. And his window's broken, so the cold breeze has to come in every once in a while and give him a good chill down the spine. It was just so terrible that this church and his woman just kind of shrugged this poor guy off. He sounded so sweet on the phone. But man, was it just so sad to hear that. So, that's just the kind of world we're living in, I guess. Where Hello. churches... On the opposite side of my home is where Eric lives. Eric also has his own field, so you should ask him for any pointers about crop growing. Yeah, that churches um, are going to kick you out because you can't pay money. God doesn't, from my knowledge, from my opinion, God doesn't want money. Money is not going to pay off your sins. Money is a man-made creation of ourselves. We... God didn't, I believe God has nothing to do with money, but we do need it. I mean, Hello. of course we need it because we need some kind of currency. Anyway, I just thought that was really sad, but f I, he said he found another church that hopefully was going to help him out. Oh, but my goodness, I thought that that was just terrible. What this world is coming to. Just like, yeah, yeah, anyway, but it has one flaw. There is no one here to bring me food. Just get it yourself. <coughs> My chronic disease. My it's... chronic Did illness. Did you say something? What was that? Sorry, Sparky keep... kept butting in, so I forgot. All right. Since no one is here to make food, I had my granddaughters come. Ah, the... yes! Please don't call your grandchildren over just to make you food. Well, that's that. I think they'll be here soon, so you can go greet them. Are they already on their way? Wait, I'm gonna get them? You're so pushy. Thanks, Sparky. Aha! 
So this is originally what I wanted to show you guys. Are you okay? Mmm. <laughs> it gives me yes, shivers just looking I'm at fine. her. Yes, I'm fine. That's good to hear. The spirits are mad. They said that the landing failed because we're too heavy. Maybe you got fatter. <laughs> I didn't. You just got bigger. You sure? Um. Are you Cannon's granddaughter? Oh, I'm sorry. I suppose I need to introduce myself. I'm Candy, Cano's Candy, Cano's grand, my grandfather. Nice to meet you, Candy. I'm Sparky. Nice to meet you, Sparky. This is my older sister. Uh, cinnamon. Hi. N nice to meet you, Cinnamon. <laughs> My sister's a bit reserved, but she's really nice. We have to get going to see our grandfather. Bye! Mm. I'll see you later. Oh, I can't help it. Cinnamon has to be my favorite. Just that, oh, her looks and the way about her personality. It's so shy and timid, and I just love it. It drives me crazy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now that I'm done being a creepy lesbian woman, let's commence. Okay, we're gonna talk to them a few times just to see what they'll say. Um, what? You fell from the sky, right? What was that all about? Candy can sing the spirit's melody. She can communicate with the spirits with her song. We were running late, so Candy asked the spirits to carry us on their winds. Spirits? Spirit melody? Normal humans can't see the spirits, but they become visible when the group together in large numbers. You must have seen them somewhere. The spirits, maybe I did. Group spirits that become visible are called runes or runies. Oh, so runies are just group spirits. I didn't know that. You're really not eligible, Cinnamon. Uh, I just know about this a bit more than others. Mmm, I love you. Okay. Do you know about the spirit song? Spirit song? Yeah, it's a song where you can speak to the spirits. It seems I have the talent for the spirit song, so I can cause miracles like rune wonders by asking the spirits. Rune wonders? Yeah, it can change the weather or speed to the growth of plants. Oh, that sounds amazing. Hey, you sound like you don't believe me. Just watch. Don't waste my runies! I need them! Stop! Okay, you should have more bamboo shoots at your field tomorrow. To cause rune wonders, you need runies. So if you want to do rune wonders, you have to bring me runies. Hi! Hello! How may I help you today? Grandpa and sis never do any housework, so I end up learning how to do everything. How may I help you today? I want to visit you at your house. Okay. How may I help I thought you? we were going to get an item. What are rune wonders? Rune wonders, in short, miracles that are caused by runies. It can bring some runies over. If you bring some runies over, I can try to wish for them and cause a miracle. Bring runies? Here, take this with you. Here we go, that's what I wanted. Alright, we got our harvester. Now this thing does multiple things. You can gather nearby runies by using this harvester. The runies you gather will be kept inside your bag, so just keep them there and talk to me. When you release these runies, they'll start wandering around in the area. You can take advantage of this to put runies where you want them. How may I help you to- Alright, sounds good. So, this, we can bring her runies, and if you hit this, you can see where all the runies are. So see here in our homestead, we have 16 water. Water eats rock. Rock eats tree. And then the tree eats the grass. Now, I'm not exactly sure how to keep them steady, but I am going to look that up. Now, do you see the little symbol? Like the little green symbol there next to the south district? 
That means that grass runies are most popular here. And this is rock. And this is water. And that's tree. So what I've heard is you try to try to make um, like grass farms because you're going to need the grass runies for your homestead because the grass runies don't eat anything. Anyway, so it looks like that's going to be the end of this episode. I just wanted to get them into town and meet them and get the harvester. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe and I hope to see you next episode. See ya! <laughs>